Hey everybody, this is the Platinum Knight, and I'm here to show off my PS4 collection, just to let you guys know what I have. And if you want, go ahead and send me video ideas, and tell me what you want me to review. Alright, let's get started. I have Skyrim. I believe I got this for 10 bucks from Black Friday. I got Shadow of the Colossus. Already reviewed this game. I got Uncharted, The Lost Legacy, which the weird thing is, I ordered this from Amazon and they gave me the UK version, which is not different from the American version, but I just thought that was kind of funny how they gave me the UK version. Got Resident Evil 7, the gold edition. I didn't have the standard edition. When I first heard that they were making a gold edition, I just decided to just wait for that, so... Yeah, I think it was worth it. This is by far a good Resident Evil game from 5 and 6. I got Rhyme, and I'm kind of pissed that I got this game because... As soon as I got it in physical copy, it then became free for PS Plus, which is why it's sealed, because I can easily just download it. But I decided to keep it just in case. I got Resident Evil Revelations 2. Not really a big fan of this Resident Evil. I just thought it was mediocre at best. And of course, I got God of War, which you all know is a masterpiece. Love this game. I got Detroit Become Human. Very good game. I have Fallout 4, which I also reviewed. And this is probably one of the best game reviews that I've reviewed so far on my channel. I have Dead Island, the definitive collection. And what sucks about this collection is only the first game is on disc. Riptide is downloaded. So once you get this game used and not brand new, you're basically only buying one game. So yeah, that's the downside. But the weird thing is though, the Xbox One version has both games on disc. So, I just think that's kind of weird. I guess the Xbox One version is the superior version. I have Resident Evil 5 and Resident Evil Origins Collection. And the reason why I'm showing you both of these is because when I got my PS4, I believe in 2016 for my birthday, my uncle actually gave me both these games, and that was so nice of him. When I got my PS4, these games kept me busy. I got Far Cry 4 Limited Edition, which I got this for like 10 bucks at a swap meet, so... When I got it, the codes were already redeemed, but this is still a decent game, standardly, so I'm okay with that. 
I got the Kingdom Hearts collection, which I still haven't gotten started on. I mean, just by looking at it, it's sealed. I haven't opened it yet. But yeah, I just haven't had the time to get started on this series. I have Metal Gear Solid 5, the Definitive Experience, and I had the Standard Edition, but I decided to give my Standard copy to my cousin. And I basically just got this for all the DLC, and I didn't have Ground Zeroes, and I like how both Ground Zeroes and the Phantom Pain are on one disc, so I just decided to get this to have everything in one. I have Plan Ed, which I know some of you guys are probably going to be laughing at me because I like something like this, but... I don't know, man. Sometimes I just need a break from all the violence, blood, and gore, and explosive action. Sometimes I just want to play something nice and relaxing. And not to mention, I'm a big fan of the anime series. So, yeah, I love this game. And for the record, yes, it is English translated. I have Spider-Man, only on PS4, and out of all the games I've reviewed so far on this channel, this is by far my favorite video game review that I've done. I had so much fun making this video. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna post links in the description of all the games i reviewed so far, but yeah. I love Spider-Man. I got South Park, The Fractured Butthole, and my uncle gave me this for my last birthday, which, thanks, Unky. But the weird thing is, when I redeemed South Park, The Stick of Truth, I actually redeemed it last August. But if you look right here, it says that it expired. Keep in mind, my birthday is on January 19th, so he gave me this on my birthday. I didn't redeem it, like, almost a year after, and yet I still got South Park to stick a truth. So remember, people, even if the code says that it expired, you may still get it. It may not be expired. I haven't gotten started on playing these games yet, but I will eventually. My uncle is dying for me to play it. I have Far Cry 5, the Gold Edition, and for those of you who don't know, this was actually my very first video game review that I've done. And to be honest, when I go back and watch my review of this, I admit, I wish I could have done a little bit better. I wish I could have changed a couple of things here and there to make it look nicer. But it was my first video game review, so I think it gets a pass. I have Dying Light, the Enhanced Edition, which my cousin bought me for Christmas on Amazon, and that was so sweet of him, I mean, I've been asking for this game um, before I got my PS4, and yeah, he got it for me, and this game is so awesome, I mean, if you love killing zombies, you have to get this game. This game is so freaking good, I was honestly surprised on how good it actually was. I mean, it's basically Dead Island, but a hundred times better. But yeah, thanks cousin. I have Horizon Zero Dawn, the complete edition, which I had the standard edition, but... 
I gave it to my cousin for his birthday, along with my standard edition of Metal Gear Solid Five. I haven't played the Frozen Wilds yet, but I'll get to it. I have Near Automata. Here's an interesting story. I believe in 2017, I told my cousin to take me to Best Buy on Black Friday because this game was only 15 bucks. And the reason why I wanted this game is because I heard a lot of great things about it, but when I was searching for it, I couldn't find it anywhere. I searched high and low, and I believe I spent like an hour trying to look for it, and I just couldn't. But then, believe it or not, my cousin, he actually found the last copy Best Buy had. So yeah, that was just complete luck right there. Thanks again, cousin. And for the record, I love this game. Near Automata is awesome. Ooh. I saved the best for last. My Batman Return to Arkham, signed by Kevin Conroy himself. I mean, I already uh, showed this in my Comic-Con Revolution experience video, but as you can see, I bought a protective case for it the last time you saw it. Uh, but yeah, I mean, thanks again, Kevin Conroy, for signing this. I mean, you have no idea how much this means to me, and I know that he's never going to see this video, but still, though, I just like showing my appreciation. I thought I should end the video here, but just as a bonus, I'm going to show you my PS Vita games, only because I don't have very many. I got Call of Duty Black Ops Declassified, which I got for like $5 off of a friend when he sold me his PS Vita for 95 I got... Uncharted Golden Abyss, which I got used off of eBay. I got Assassin's Creed 3 Liberation. And I got Killzone Mercenary, which I accidentally bought the cartridge by itself on Amazon. So I had to get a replacement case on eBay, and yeah, I mean, this replacement case looks professional. I got it off of someone who personally makes these, and yeah, it looks good. And of course, I have the Metal Gear Solid HD collection because I'm a fan of Metal Gear. And so I got this version just in case I want to play it on the go. Alright everybody, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed watching my collection. Make sure to like and subscribe. And peace out everybody.